Hey everybody, I'm Rob Freeman and today we're answering the question, what is the difference between a solar PPA or power purchase agreement and a solar lease as it pertains to commercial solar projects? Well, the two are similar in the sense that they're both approaches that building owners can take to put solar on their roof or get solar on their property without actually having to pay for it. In both cases, a solar PPA or a solar lease will allow you to get the solar system for no money out of your pocket, uh, but at the end of the day, you don't actually own the system in both of those cases. So the big difference between the two really comes down to the, the type or what, co what comprises the payment that you make every month. With a solar power purchase agreement, you're basically entering into a long-term energy purchase contract with the solar developer or the solar company that you're buying the system or leasing the system from. And a solar PPA will typically go 20 years. And for that period, you will have agreed to buy the renewable energy from the solar developer or the solar contractor for that period. And it'll be less than what you're paying today, usually with an escalator. Uh, but again, you don't actually own the system. You're just paying for the use of the energy every month. And so it's, a, it's an easy way to get the commercial solar system on your roof and you'll save money on your energy, but you won't get to benefit from any of the tax incentives that come from owning a solar system. Now, similar to the PPA, the solar lease is also a, an approach that you can take where you don't actually have to come out of pocket to buy the solar system. And instead of entering into a long-term energy contract, you're essentially just you're leasing some equipment, which in this case is solar panels, and you're paying like you would a car lease. You know, you're you're just you're getting the use of the equipment, and you're going to pay over a usually a 10 or it could be 15 or 20 year period for the use of the solar panels, and it'll be a fixed every month period fixed payment every month that you pay to the solar company uh, so it won't fluctuate like it would with a PPA where you're just paying for the energy that you use with the PPA with a solar lease you'll pay a fixed amount every month and it usually has also has an escalator in it some some don't but usually they do have an escalator in them maybe it's hedged to inflation so a three percent escalator every year so again, in both cases, a PPA and a lease, you don't own the system, but you're not gonna come out of pocket to get the system put on your roof. So uh, in terms of which approach maybe has a better payback, uh, the, the, the PPA, again, you're, you're gonna only pay for what you use, whereas with a lease, you may not get as much energy uh, on certain months, but you're still gonna pay the same amount for the use of the equipment. So, um, at the end of the day, if you can afford to either take out a loan and buy the solar system outright, or just pay cash for the solar system, or use a CPACE financing or some other financing method, you're always going to be better off long term to do that because the return on investment is going to be much quicker. Usually when you're paying cash or a loan, you might have like a five to 10 year payback period. And even with a CPACE financing, there are a lot of other tax incentives that you get associated with it. You can get the investment tax credit, which this year is 26%. You can get accelerated depreciation. You can get uh, access to renewable energy certificates. Uh, and wh whatever other local incentives may exist in your state or town. And um, so you're always gonna be better off, the payback and the tax benefits and everything are gonna be much better for purchasing. So, um, but again, a PPA and a lease are very similar. Really the major difference is the, the what comprises the payment that you make every month. With, its, with PPA, you're just gonna pay the amount of energy that you use from the solar panels. And with a, a lease, you're gonna pay a fixed amount every month for the use of the equipment. So that's it. Um, I always recommend that any of my clients 
purchase the systems if they can because it uh, will you know save you a lot more money over time and you own the system and you can get a lot of tax incentives and depreciation and other things like that uh, anyway i uh, hope this has been helpful and uh, thanks again and have a great day